So let me begin by asking you the fundamental question and setting the context straight. You've come back to India. You've come back to Bharat. You believe in the Bharat story and you're playing a tremendously important role, sir. I would like to ask you, I know that you believe in the Bharat story as much as we all of us do, but why? Because you definitely had a fantastic career in academics and you, you've donned many hats, whether it's the World Bank, whether it's IMF, WTO. Why do you believe in the Bharat story? Uh, well, Kishore, let me first say that uh, I believe in the Bharat story, uh, but I also believe in Prime Minister Modi. Oh, that requires a round of applause <laughs> for sure. So, uh, as Bharat story progresses and while Prime Minister Modi uh, leads us here, uh, I think anybody uh, who uh, is looking for uh, where the big actions are going to happen uh, in the coming decades uh, has to be here. Uh, it is a country uh, that is today growing faster than any other major economy by a fairly large margin actually. And uh, this is a story that is going to continue for some years to come. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I think that's a very good reason for us all uh, to be here. Uh, and uh, also I think, you know, one of the things to remember is that uh, demographically, we are the only major big country uh, which is not only large and young, but also growing in population. Most other countries are getting older, shrinking in population and all. So a lot of the action is going to originate here, even if, you know, uh, I believe actually we'll still see a lot more Indians around the globe for, for the simple reason that this is a, a rising nation and with a large population, with populations in the other parts of the world shrinking. So I think a whole lot is going to be coming in the next couple of decades uh, from here. Absolutely, can't agree more with uh, the fact that you believe in Sri Narendra Modi as all of us here do believe.